Morning all, and a very warm welcome back to Motorhoming Adventures. A warm welcome, of course, if you're a new subscriber, and thank you very much to those who have subscribed recently and watched our films. It's great to have you along. So, uh, France planning. Um, we're off to southern France this year, 2023, and uh, really looking forward to it. There hasn't been much sun kicking around the UK, so we're hopefully going to find some as we work our way down through the Alps and then down to probably a bit of the Mediterranean, perhaps a bit of the Pyrenees, might come up the west coast of France. Um, but generally hoping to find a bit of sun. Anyway, I've been, during that prep, I've been thinking about our options for gas um, and how we might uh, transport, what we might use. I'd also been thinking in the last few months of whether to swap to a underslung gas, refillable gas canister or a gaslow system, a gasset system, you name it, they're out there, aren't they? Um, so I just wanted to give you a quick idea of what we've decided to try this year um, and how we're going to try and get by from a gas supply point of view. And the route I've gone down is to uh, to get two bottles into the container, into the gas locker, I should say, a 6K and a 13K. Um, but then also I've got hold of some adapters um, for the uh, for the pigtails on the in the gas locker so that I'm able, hopefully, if I've chosen right, to swap to uh, to swap to adapters that are suitable for the French gas bottles uh, if we start to run low on the 6 and the 13 that we are taking. So anyway, that's the plan. So come along, let me show you what we've uh, what to, uh, what we've got set up and what our plans are and of course we'd really like to hear um, of your solutions how you found um, maintaining your gas supply in Europe particularly if you're away for a long time what options you go for and of course any uh, any views on uh, on the route we've gone down this year for France travel so let me show you where we're at at the moment there's my 13 ready to go in and then in here at the moment uh, which is when we're pottering around the UK I run with two sixes that's actually a lightweight one that I've got somewhere up north um, so I've got a full six ready to go um, I'm going to swap out the one that's uh, in use at the moment I think there's about half left in that so we'll take that one out and then what I have to do because the catch on this side of the locker um, is over this side on the left hand side of the door is I have to run with the larger gas canister this side uh, 6k that side because um, with the big gas cylinder in there that door catch doesn't quite shut um, so we've run with the 13 and 6 before which was really good um, I'd imagine well it wouldn't be far off being able to get two 13s in there but certainly um, certainly I don't think I could um, and uh, so let's get that swap over done I've got a Truma gas monitor on the bottom of this bottle as well so um, we'll swap that over as well to our other 6k and uh, and then I'll show you some of the uh, some of the adapter bits that we've also got to travel with this year and of course, remembering that uh, that the gas fittings, the uh, screws down here, are reverse thread. So, so you've just got to uh, make sure you don't forget that. Loosen it off. Always weird working on a backwards thread. It feels so wrong, doesn't it? Right. There's our UK style pigtail. Obviously, goes back into the regulator here. Um, so, so the plan is that that this um, can uh, take an adapter, which then in France, you know, one for example of the really big suppliers is uh, Antar Gaz, um, who have got a gazillion outlets uh, all over France. So, if for example I was going to swap to that, then what I did was um, just do a bit of research um, with um, particularly a company called Hamilton Gas who if you ping them online in fact I'll put a link in the description below Hamilton Gas were really good they had, had a sort of helpline I'd heard you could get adapters um, so I gave their technical people a ring and they were most helpful in terms of I was on their website 
he was pinging the advice down the phone uh, giving me part reference numbers um, for the different adapters that you can get and um, he took me to several products which basically covered the two or three different options that you may get so of course Spain might have a different adapter France a different adapter again um, so we've basically acquired for about 30 odd quid 35 quid I think I'll check that and uh, and let you know um, but it was about 35 quid to buy the all the different adapters that you would need to fit onto the standard UK pigtail for um, for France and for beyond and for other European countries so let me show you those uh, let me show you those adapters we got from Hamilton gas okay so um, so what they taught me through was first and foremost because we've obviously got an onboard regulator then what we need are the uh, of course the adapters for the different bowls so this first bit um, was and is designed to then fit our UK pigtail um, so let me just let me just try and set the camera up so you can see while I try otherwise I can't do this one, one handed so I've got the um, there's my UK one there's the first piece of adapter that remembering of course that everything's back to front you've got your reverse thread again so that then just slots onto there like that to your existing UK one and then some of the pieces for example this one which would be um, which would be one of the French ones again uh, reverse thread so it comes backwards uh, let's pop that one on and there as simple as that there you've got now a setup which is ready for uh, one of your French gas bottles as I say, for example, Antar Gas or whatever else it may be, who use sort of similar size types of fitting, and then with a the turn, turn key uh, gas activation there, just like you would turn on your uh, valve on the gas itself, on the gas bottle itself. These are the different styles of um, of, uh, of turning on valve that uh, that Europe use. Um, so that's that one, and then always get caught out by starting to turn it the wrong way and then this one as well um, you see this is quite a much bigger bigger one there that was um, again reverse thread so back in there just get that biting there we go um, that one is for the Spanish style bottles um, so what would happen is if the 6 starts to run out or runs out I'll swap to the 13 which gives me plenty of scope and probably a fair few days gas we'll be doing. Um, we're hoping to do obviously a fair bit of off-gridding as we travel around France uh, hence uh, the need to try and address the issue of gas because the fridge, the hot water, the cooking will all be gas and therefore we're likely to be using more gas as we off-grid more. Um, so the 6 I can then when it's empty pop that in the garage just for storage and then I can put in a French 6k bottle or a Spanish or whatever wherever we are at the time pop the adapter on linking piece there then the relevant adapter and away we go and it's a sort of I guess it was um, um, uh, a cheaper way to do uh, or to be able to do gas supply in France in that obviously 30 quid as opposed to the cost of say putting underneath underneath the van here um, you know an underslung tank um, or indeed perhaps changing the whole system to a gasset or a, um, a gas low system that we could refill on the move in France by putting in a, a filler cap there and you know what have you that you need to do um, so I thought we'll start off with this as it's 30, 35 quid. Um, see how we get on with that grand plan. So I guess you could call it a sort of entry level in that uh, we've only had to shell out about 35 quid. Um, and uh, it, which is obviously a lot less than say a gazet or a full gaslo system or a refillable system that is or an underslung system under the van um, and we'll just see how we get on if it um, if it proves a sort of clunky solution then it might be time to look again at 
you know whether we do one of those other solutions but um but we'll give it a go this year see how we get on with it uh, we'll of course let you know as we progress through france uh, so keep an eye on the channel and of course don't forget to subscribe um so, so that uh, you start to pick up our series of films that will be coming from our um six week trip around uh, around france got no idea where we're heading yet we've bought a ticket under the tunnel and uh, that's it nothing else booked nothing else prepared a sort of rough plan to perhaps go to the med area to the pyrenees might drop into spain but really nothing much else so um so yeah do subscribe and um, to follow that but in particular we'll let you know how this is going with this and with the gas solution and with the handy reuse of a small camera box <laughs> I can uh, I can keep the various uh, adapters that we got those two the one on the end there and then finally this one uh, which has to have its own box because it doesn't quite fit in there but I'll just keep those in the garage of the motorhome ready for our various um, our various gas gas bottle changes okay so there's the um, taken off this uh, this little bottle here there's my gas level monitor Truma gas level monitor. If you want to know a little bit more about that, then look up our film on the um, INET connection uh, where I cover this device in a bit more detail. But it's just got a um, it's got a magnet within it that fixes to the underside of your gas bottle, and then this little sensor here um, detects the quantity of gas you've got in your bottle. You can then change it from six to thirteen or whatever you may be using. Obviously, as I say, it does require a steel um, a steel uh, bottle so that the magnet can work and fix to the underside. Um, so we'll swap this onto our new 6K one here, and uh, and then it takes. Uh, you find sometimes with these they take a little bit um, of um, picking up of the new bottle, um, but I think once you've started to use the gas system and uh, be it for cooking or heating or whatever then it sort of recalibrates itself and um, as long as it's set for a 6k or as long as you remember to change it between 6k and 13k then it seems to have given us over the couple of years we've had it now a, a pretty accurate reading um, anyway so let's get that one swapped and uh, get the six back in so there we go that's the 13 back in six the full six Truma gas monitor on the bottom of that, and uh, let's uh, let's get this one connected up. Remember the reverse thread. So good so that's it big thanks to Hamilton gas the technical line very helpful guy that I spoke to there absolutely fantastic and um, I'll put the um, details of if I can uh, just track down the invoice I'll put uh, details of the products that I got um, and I was advised to get in the description below the film so that's it guys hopefully that's been uh, that's been of some use to you let me know as i say in the comments what your solutions are how you found it whether you've tried these adapters or and um, and generally what you think um, of uh, gas use in france how much you get through that sort of stuff um, i'll certainly be keeping a track of it now we're doing more off grid see sort of what quantities we're getting through but thank you as always for watching and we look forward to Seeing you again uh, with our next France preparation films. Not long now.